Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie starts with a prison bus on the road, with the prisoners having intense expressions on their faces. A red car shows up behind the bus, and speeds up to drive past it, as the prisoners look on. The car cuts off the bus, and makes it flip, when the bus driver hits the brake to save the car from crashing. When a guard goes to the man driving the car to check on him, he pretends to be unconscious until the guard is close enough. He puts a gun on his head. Back in the flipped bus, a prisoner pretends his legs to be broken, but when the guard comes close to check on him, he punches him, knocking him out. The man from the bus drags the guard on gunpoint into the bus, and makes him let the prisoners go free. The car driver's name is Billy and he is there to free a prisoner named Sam Gillen, but as they drive away in their car, a guard takes a shot, and fatally wounds Billy. While he takes his last breaths, he asks Sam to forgive him, and Sam does. The man dies and that evening, Sam goes to bury him. He goes to a grocery shop, and upon being asked, he tells the store owner that he is going hunting, which the man does not seem to buy as Sam is wearing a suit. When the man suspects him, he scares him into swearing that he has never seen him. Sam then goes to the woods, and camps near a pond. He wakes up and takes his gun and flashlight, as he makes his way out. He goes to a house nearby where a mother is seen with her two kids. He sees the woman taking a bath, and when he sneaks into the house, he accidentally bumps into a lamp, making the boy wake up. He quickly goes out of the kid's room, and runs out of there with a salt shaker from the dinner table. The boy watches him go away, but does not do anything about it. The next morning, when the kids are having breakfast, the little boy asks his mother for salt, but she is unable to find it anywhere. The boy tells his mother that E.T. took it, but she does not believe any of that. The boy's name is Mookie, and his mother tells him to stop making things up, when he tells her about the man stealing the salt shaker. Mookie goes to the storage room, and opens a box, in which he finds letters written from his dad, a birthday card, and a gun. Sam on the other hand, opens a box full of money and a tape recorder. He listens to the recording and it's Billy, who talks about being close to a woman named Elwes. Sam is sad to hear the recording, as his buddy is no more. Sam then gets rid of the car by pushing it into the nearby pond. As he sits outside his camp, he hears explosions, and the scene changes to a construction site. A man named Lonnie walks into an office, to see Mr. Dunstan. Lonnie is a police officer, who is working on the payroll of Mr. Hale, who is in charge of this construction site, and wants his control over 120 acres of land in the area. There is a heated argument between Lonnie and Mr. Dunstan, who suspects him of sleeping with a woman, referred to as Mrs. Anderson. When Lonnie gets back to his car, he finds a card between the money. Sam is again eyeing that house, and Lonnie is seen kissing the woman, the mother of two children. She is Clyde Anderson, who has a beef with Hale, and he wants to drive her off the land with the help of Lonnie. When he is about to leave after the lovemaking, he tells her to be careful, but she tells him that she is not scared of anyone, and that she is not going to leave the house. After Lonnie leaves, Sam sneaks into the house again, and Mookie wakes up, and throws a ball towards Sam from upstairs. Sam gets out of the house right away, but the kid follows him to his camp, and asks him why he did not throw the ball back to him. The kid then introduces him as Mookie, and asks his name. He tells the boy that he is called Sam, and when the boy tells him that he is going to see him the next morning, Sam says he might not be there by the next morning. Sam is bathing in the pond when the kid shows up, and sits by the not perfectly lit fire. When the naked Sam walks out of the pond, Mookie's little sister also shows up, and sits by the fire, where Mookie is cooking steak for Sam. Mookie then tells him that their dad is dead, and that he used to cook when he went camping with his father. The kid's mother calls for them, and they get out of there. As they walk away, Sam tells them not to mention to anyone that they saw him out there. That night, when Clyde comes home with her kids, she finds one of her cows lying dead, and as she looks on, she is attacked by a man. She barely manages to drive away, only to have her truck stuck. The men demand she get out of the truck right away. Sam shows up and introduces himself as the parking attendant. He beats the crap out of all three men, and fends them off with ease. They invite him into their house, and the woman tells him that she does not allow camping or hunting on her property, Sam asks her about the men who attacked her, but the woman does not answer. Upon being asked, he tells her that he is from Quebec. She offers him to stay in her barn, and the next morning, she brings him fresh clothes as well. When he is in the shower, Lonnie shows up and confronts him at gunpoint, asking him who he is. Sam introduces himself as a friend of Clyde's. Just as Lonnie is about to find Sam's gun, Clyde shows up and scolds Lonnie for being a jerk. Sam sees a bike in her barn, and buys it for $300. When Mr. Hale comes to her house and offers her a lot of money for her property, 
she still asks them to get out of there, and he threatens her with foreclosing. Sam appears and defends her. While Hale is speaking to a large crowd about his ideas, he is slammed by a man named Tom, who refuses to sell his land to him. That night, Tom's barn is set on fire, and Sam saves his and his horse's life, by getting them out of the burning barn. He then pushes off the water tank onto the burning fire, that is nearing the gas tank already. Next morning, he looks at Clyde as she bathes the horses. That day, Sam and Mookie go to a spare parts shop, to get some parts for the bike he has been trying to fix. Mr. Dunson shows up and tells him that he is the guy who saved Tom from the burning barn, and his name has been the word on the street since then. That evening, the kids and Clyde watch her wedding footage. Sam also joins them. Later that night, when Clyde is out for a smoke, Sam sits with her, and she tells him that they call this valley, the Valley of the Moon. She talks about how this place smells like violets, and that there is no better smell than that. He tells her that there was a time when he used to be married as well. She then invites him to sleep in her room that night. He however does not comply. As Sam walks away, we see Lonnie spying on them. He shows up later that night, but Clyde tells him that she is not in the mood. He leaves angrily, telling her to figure out what's wrong with her. In the dead of the night, Hale's men show up to destroy Clyde's land, by coating oil on it. Sam wakes up by the loud noise, and goes to check what's going on. Upon seeing them destroying everything, he beats the shit out of the drivers driving the cranes and the trucks. The next morning, Hale reveals to Dunstan that he has been backed into a corner, and if he does not have Clyde's land by the end of the weekend, he is going to lose the deal. He makes it abundantly clear to him, that if he is not able to do the job, Hale is going to find someone who can. Lonnie comes to Clyde's farm, handcuffs Sam at gunpoint, and beats him up. When Clyde returns home, she takes him to her room, and they end up sleeping together. The next morning, Mr. Dunstan shows up at Clyde's house, and confronts Sam, who threatens to kill him if he ever found him near the woman or her children. Lonnie comes to see Sam, and tells him that he knows who he really is, and asks him to leave Clyde right away, or he is going to get her in trouble as well. He tells the truth to Clyde, revealing that he and his boy Billy robbed a bank, and when a guard was about to shoot Sam, Billy shot the guard, and Sam was arrested. She then tells him to just leave, saying she can take care of herself. Sam leaves on the bike, leaving her a recorded tape. Lonnie tells Hale about the real identity of Sam, and he is thrilled with the news, but Dunstan is a little unhappy with Lonnie letting him leave just like that. Sam is sitting at a restaurant, eating, when a police officer shows up, and asks him about his bike. He tells him that he restored it himself, and gets out of there. The officer gets a little suspicious, and jots down the number plate. Sam goes out into the woods, and camps there, when he realizes that he is being followed. He notices that he has already been surrounded. Waiting for the right moment, he jumps and gets on his bike, with a policeman following him. A large chase ensues, and he takes out a lot of bikes and police cars. While he is on the run, after coming really close to being caught on multiple occasions, he finally manages to lose the police. Back at Clyde's house, Hale and Dunstan show up along with their men, and catch Clyde. In the meantime, Lonnie shows up. But as he walks in to check on Clyde, Dunstan knocks him out. Mookie manages to run away, and while he is out there to call for help, he runs into Sam, who is back for Clyde. They torture Clyde, and make her sign the contract. After that, they set her house on fire, but Sam shows up, and right away kills one of their men. A one-on-one -on -one fight between Sam and Dunstan begins. Dunstan is knocked out in Lonnie's car, but he finds a rifle, and starts shooting at Sam, who is tossed a pistol by Mookie. As he gets his hands on the pistol, he shoots Dunstan dead. The police arrive, and arrest Hale, who is holding Clyde at gunpoint. Sam tells the kids that he is going away, as he did something he was not supposed to, and it was a long time ago. He then allows Lonnie to arrest him, having decided to stop running, but promises to return to Clyde and the kids, who he loves. The End Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.